In 1905, all of New York was riveted by the story of Lily Bart, a stunning young woman hoping to claim her place in society through marriage to a wealthy man. She has to rely entirely on her looks, which are great, and her wits, um, and she's trying to find a rich husband. She's 29 years old, she's beautiful, but she isn't married. And 29 is quite late not to be married at this point in a young woman's life in that era. As her prospects for marriage unraveled, Lily Bart's life spiraled downward. No longer the toast of New York society, she ended up in a rooming house, and there, alone and penniless, after drinking an overdose of sleeping medication, she died. One woman sent her friend a telegram saying, Lily Bart is dead. But this tragic figure, whose story so captivated New York, was not real. She was a character in a novel called The House of Mirth. The writer, who exposed the dark side of high society, was herself a member of it. Edith Wharton was in a unique position to chronicle and critique the upper class. And she did, mercilessly. But her literary success came at a price. Edith Wharton lived in a society that looked askance at people who cared about things too passionately. They certainly looked askance at people who were writers or artists. And so writing was something that she did in secret. <laughs> 